For us, it's about how we think about training our pre-service teachers. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of interest in work right now looking at how we can better prepare them to work across kind of physical and digital spaces to prepare them for not for future, you know, the kind of emergency at home teaching, but to prepare them for the wider range of practices that teachers in schools have been exposed to and are likely to be developing over over the next few years. Um, and in that, one of the things that we're trying to do is look at how schools are working in that area. What are they doing that we should think about, that we should reflect back on um, in our in training teachers? Um, one of the things we're looking at is how we can better understand what teachers in schools are going through. That helps us understand how to prepare our pre-service teachers better. So there's very much a cycle there um, that we we try to work within, not always as well as we would like to, <laughs> but we work on it. But there is a lot of there are a lot of questions right now. Um, something specific, um, a colleague and I are um, with a group called Edu Summit, which is an international group of educational technology researchers. Uh, we lead a working group looking specifically at how we understand digital and physical learning spaces. And so that's something that we are looking internationally at different practices, what people have experienced, um, what other countries work uh, in terms of the universities and in terms of school systems around the world. Because again, we have um, like 40 plus countries represented. Um, how they're handling this transition that's been going on and is likely to continue going on, and how we can feed that for my own, feed that back into what we understand is happening in New South Wales. Innovation to me is very much around the idea of how an individual educator changes. So how do they, and this is what I study, how do they decide what they want to change, how they want to improve or do something differently, and then how they go about, how they go about doing that. Um, just um, earlier when I came in, I saw a wonderful example of it. It was really nice. Um, a colleague um, that I work with in the department was speaking to um, a librarian, I think, and talking about um, how to bring tactile examples um, of objects like the pyramids into their students' hands. And she was like, she was like he's like, there are models in how you can print like the pyramids. And she was like, oh, how do I do this? He's like, oh, it's available at the department and you have the tools that at the school, she's like, oh, we have 3D printers we can use. And watching that process of discovery and can see the teacher thinking about how they might use it and how with the thinking it triggers. And I think that's really educational innovation, that sharing and that oh, I could do that, that small practice. And it leads to big innovation. So she might do it and someone else might do it. Um, and that's, that's how I see innovation in education. And it's really exciting. It was really exciting just to see it just as I walked in the door. You see it all the time, but it's the small stuff. That you see. So yeah, that's why I see it. I've really enjoyed seeing everyone together. I'm sure a lot of people are thinking that. It's really nice to see the interest um, in how we're dealing with technology now, how we're thinking about digital transformation. Um, it's really nice, I was just saying this to your colleague out there, it's really nice to come to these and see where the department's mind is and see what is really and I, I always kind of know, I keep my finger on it, but it's really nice to come and see um, the presentations, to really hear about what's going on, um, and to also to hear about it on a, on a broad scale, which is really, because it is a really big department, which I love, um, but it's really nice to hear it talked about on that big system level. It's always nice to get the, the big perspective, but also then to see people reacting to it and responding to it and engaging and seeing people re-engaging with their colleagues is really nice too. So it's just nice to be back at these kind of events also. I've enjoyed it. <laughs>